In this video, I am going to discuss about how to present a neurological diagnosis. The detailed analysis of neurological symptoms and summarizing the case, the neurological diagnosis should be presented in four tiers. First one is functional diagnosis, second one is anatomical diagnosis, third one is physiological diagnosis, fourth one is etiological diagnosis. Now, Functional diagnosis means what is the functional deficit of the patient. Anatomical diagnosis means which part of neuraxis is involved. Physiological diagnosis means which particular structure is involved in the particular anatomical localization. And etiological diagnosis means what is the probable etiology. Now coming to one example, if the case summary is Sensory motor weakness of all four limbs due to spinal cord lesion above C5 and the lesion is involving pyramidal tracts, posterior columns and spinothalamic tract due to extradural compressive etiology. In this case, the functional diagnosis will be quadruparesis. Anatomical diagnosis will be cervical cord lesion above C5. Physiological diagnosis will be involvement of posterior columns, pyramidal and spinothalamic tracts. Etiological diagnosis will be extradural extramedullary compressive etiology. Now coming to another example, if a case summary of a patient is sudden onset motor weakness of right side with global aphasia due to suspected stroke and the lesion is involving motor cortex and language area, the functional diagnosis will be hemiplegia with global aphasia. The anatomical diagnosis will be involvement of cerebrum in left MCA territory. Physiological diagnosis will be involvement of motor and language area. Etiological diagnosis will be stroke. Thank you.